You're right. I asked Kalani this, and I wanted to get your thought as a player. Last year was such a weird year for a lot of teams. I mean, you're going up against a team that only played a handful of games, and, you know, all of the unknowns regarding, you know, okay, they've got a new staff, they've got, you know, what players were in, what players were out. What's it like preparing for a team when you're having to look two years back or, you know, maybe you don't know exactly what they're going to have to, to put on the field? Um, that's actually a great question. It's actually kind of – it's a little more difficult, but um, I actually think it's a little bit easier because everyone's coming back this year for most of the teams that we're playing, especially the Pac-12 schools, they're bringing back everybody. So, you know, with week one going in, we kind of know their personnel and stuff. I think the hardest thing about Arizona was the fact that they have a new OC and a new coaching staff. So we don't really know what they're going to bring. So we're just preparing as much as possible, watching as much film from all their old schools and all their old teams and, you know, just prepping as much as possible as we could. So, yeah. Mitch and then Jake. Hello, but last year the the love one another uh, slogan or mantra was was a big deal uh, around the program. Is there a, a new mantra or slogan that uh, the players have decided on this year that uh, you guys will kind of support and, and use as a theme this season? Um, none, none right now. Uh, we haven't talked about it yet as much. But uh, last year it came organically. It was nothing that we were pushing. Uh, I was part of that conversation when we were talking with Isaiah about it, and. Um, nothing crazy this year. We're going to have to ask around for that right now. I was going to ask you, too, about the, the Arizona offense. They're, they're, they're going with the quarterback system, what they announced. Uh, what challenges that pose maybe for, for you and your role in your 111th uh, in, in this defense coming up on Saturday night? Um, it's nothing crazy. We just finished a quarterback battle, you know, and, like, we've had, like, to prep for three different quarterbacks here at BYU. So, um we're just our coaches are making sure that we know the dangers of each one of the quarterbacks that we're going to play against like we don't know which one it would be out of the two of them so right now we're just trying to be as prepared as possible we're trying to like try to simplify things down but um we've gone back to a lot of film especially <clears throat> last year or the year before that from all the coaches and stuff like that so yeah we're just going to prep as much as possible with everything Uriah, you were listed as a starter at defensive end. What does that mean to you to be listed as a starter going into your final season? Here? Um, it's cool. It's actually cool. Um, I'm just excited to play my part and do everything I can. Uh, I've always been a solid contributor on the team, but uh, right now I just feel like it's taking a different step. So that's something I'm really excited for. And how do you feel this defensive line is going to do overall? I think there's a lot of people who look at the names on the defensive line. There's not a lot of, I guess, household names there. How do you feel you guys are going to perform along that defensive front? We're excited to show people what we got, man. It's going to be dope. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think people, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Our, our defensive line is super excited. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not like, you know, Amish people. We we read the internet and stuff sometimes. Our D-line gets really insulted by some of this stuff, bro. Like, I think all of us are just itching to get at it, bro. And so, um, we're ready. <laughs> we last two questions, Sean and then Jared Lloyd. I think I've learned how to run Zoom by now a little bit. It's been over a year, but I still don't. Uh, <laughs> Jake kind of stole my question a little bit, so I'll kind of follow up on that, uh, about the D-line and the defensive end. With, with Just sort of how excited are you guys to finally be able to hit somebody else to prepare for another team to play against Arizona? Um, how close is this team as you kind of get ready for another opponent? And then maybe I'll ask you a secondary follow-up to that. Who's the best ping pong player on the, this roster? Oh, uh, the best ping pong player? For sure, me. Oh, why are you guys pointing at yourself? It's definitely not Gunner and it's definitely not Tyler. It's for sure me. Um, at ping pong, for sure me. Uh, let's see. <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, the D line. I I totally forgot the first question. I'm sorry. You got me going about ping pong. <laughs> 
excited are you guys to finally be able to hit somebody else and prepare for somebody else in Arizona? Oh, yes. We're super excited. Uh, we love hitting our own O-linemen, but we don't want to get them hurt. So, like, we're just finally, I think personally for me, I don't know about the rest of the guys. I'm, I'm just excited to finally go, like, full speed with somebody else. It's just, you know, the level of competition is dope. And I know for sure our D-tackles are super ready and our DNs are too. So it's going to be exciting. Boy, I don't know if I can top the ping pong question. That was that was a good reaction there. No, but I gotta ask just about playing in front of fans. It, a lot of times that seems to amp up the defense. The offense is you know a little bit different in that sense, but the anticipation of being able to have games with a full crowd or at least mostly full crowd. What's that like for the defense? Um, I I'm excited for it. I know that a lot of our younger guys haven't played in front of. Uh, a big crowd before because last year we barely had anyone show up but I know the defense loves it I think that um, we're super excited to have all the fans come out I've heard about all the sellout tickets and stuff like that we're just it's going to be an exciting game especially for the defense the defense is super ready for it I know we're all hungry and ready to get at it all right thanks Shira. thanks Art.